Next question is from Matthew Garcia. How long should I supplement with ashwagandha for? You know, it's, you know what's funny about ashwagandha? It is now becoming, uh, what, because of the studies that they're doing on ashwagandha, it's becoming one of the most popular uh, health and wellness and athletic performance herbs mm. that you'll find anywhere. There's no drawbacks of doing it every day, right? Uh, well, drawbacks uh, potentially. Could let's you say, downregulate and like not? No, be no. So what I mean by that is um, you could have uh, an intolerance to nightshade, nightshade uh. vegetables, so you might have an issue. It also changes your body's relationship with cortisol. So, oh, interesting. It, yeah, it could. One of the reasons, so, and in fact, it lowers cortisol, right? Because I guess your body becomes more efficient using cortisol. So that's why it's a good stress hormone, or excuse me, a stress supplement, or what they would call an adaptogen. But the challenge with stuff like that is it may mask uh, other stuff. So you may just allow yourself to keep, you know, messing your body up oh, more interesting. and more. Hmm. But that being said, uh, it improves recovery, strength. It gives people better sleep, raises testosterone in men. Uh, it's a remarkable herb and supplement. I personally do not see effects past 60, 60 days. After two months, I, I go off. It does nothing for me anymore. Oh, interesting. Um, and I, I noticed that with any you know, herb or, or supplement. That so I give take. me an example of somebody who you, you mm. would for sure recommend like, Oh, that type of person should take this. And then what person would you say like would avoid, you would say avoid it? Yeah. So the person I would give it to, they already have a good diet. They're exercising well, good sleep, right? So everything, all the, all the big stuff is taken care of and they want a little extra performance. They want better recovery then I may recommend, hey, let's try ashwagandha. It, a lot of people seem to feel real good on it, um, so let, let's give that a shot. The person I wouldn't would be the person who we're dealing with, um, you know, HPA axis dysfunction. Now, typically, functional medicine practitioners will use ashwagandha to help people with HPA axis dysfunction. But because I'm not an expert in treating that, I wouldn't do it because what I'm afraid of doing is giving them something that makes them feel better but then doesn't address the root issues so like the and allows them to keep going on the bad, the wrong path. So like the cortisol junkie we talked about on the show yeah. the other day, you would avoid giving it to that client because it you don't want them to mask something. Temporarily, they would feel better mm -hmm. and they would probably cause more damage. Might even right? start ramping it up. Yeah. Totally, right? So, and I, you know, a functional medicine practitioner would look at all the other stuff first before, mm -hmm. you know, at, or all together. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's a great, I, I tell you, most people, if they take ashwagandha, Within a few weeks, we'll notice um, energy, libido, and mm. athletic performance uh, enhancement. So really, it's just like you get adapted to it at some point, which then it probably loses a bit of its effectiveness uh, overall. Yeah, and I have yet to find any product no. that doesn't do that. Yeah, right. right. Well, yeah. so the the green juice uh, organifies. They have so what six hundred milligrams of it inside their yep. inside of it. Is that considered a reasonable dose? Is yeah. That, okay. Yeah, that's a good dose. Um, you could go higher if you're like you know super intense, lots of stress. The way I would use it is I'd say, okay, I'm going to go through um, six weeks of really intense workouts, or I'm going to add extra volume because I'm trying to cut or something like that. Then I would throw it in. And it, it, it moves the overtraining line a little further. So now I can add more volume, more training, and I'm not so at risk. Because here's what I noticed with ashwagandha. I don't get as sore and as stiff, and I seem to be able to handle a lot more volume mm. when I'm taking it. Um, but again, it's, it's one of the few supplements you'll actually notice. Most people will notice a difference. Not as profound as creatine. And creatine is something you can take. You, you take all the time. It's not something you go off and on. You just take it all the time, and you, you continue to reap the health benefits from it. I wonder if that's one of the major things that people do report back about the green juice, why it makes them feel so good. I, I 100% think so. Oh, wow. 100% think so. I think the ashwagandha makes that big of a difference. So it's good stuff. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.